compete in the light welterweight division. Introducing your first fighter, Fatty, out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Jack the Hitman. Shorts fighting out the blue corner. He's fighting Ryan Droy from the Evolution Gym on Leon C. He's fighting out the red corner. He's moving his head very well here in the black shorts, but getting chased down. Good movement and evasion, and the jabs there. Joined in the commentary box by the very fine lady Irene Chowdhury. These guys are shaping up well to start. What do you expect from this fight? Well, I'm hoping for some fireworks. Um, both guys seem very lively in there. And um, again, another evenly matched fight so far, but it's early days, isn't it? it definitely is early days, and both guys are shaping up very well to start with here. And both trying to find the body and move around. Big bombs coming in from Heathcote already. look fit and tidy, just nice and light on their feet. He's finding his range with that jab, his draw at the moment, and using the right hook over the top. He doesn't look comfortable on the inside as he moves his head away. But there he goes, puts together four or five right hands into the body and the head. Looks like he's having success with that jab, but Heathcote is getting him with them big left hands. 
Marvin, yeah, he's, he's definitely working with the jab and he's moving well, he's finding the body well as well. Not telling off there, but not too much there. They're both sportsmen. That concludes a good opening round for the two boxers. Well, good opening round from these relatively inexperienced boxers who have come to lay it down. They both look pretty good, actually. I mean, after that first round, if you're in the corners of these two guys, what sort of motivation would you give them after that? Well, I'll tell, I'll tell um, Joy to keep using that jab because he's getting in there straight through um, Heathcote's guard. And as far as um, he, um, Heathcote, I'd tell him to keep on in, get, keep up close, and because I think Joy struggles up close. I definitely think he crumbles under pressure like you're seeing here. He ducks his head very low, and you'll see him grabbing him round the waist there of Heathcote. And Heathcote throws a flurry of good punches on the inside there as well. Joy is getting tagged here. Heathcote's chin's high as well. Tracking his man down, moving centre again. The hands go round the waist, which is uh, very susceptible to an uppercut on the approach. It doesn't look comfortable, but draw it. He, for me, he looked like the better jabber of the two. As uh, Chowdhury has just said that in the commentary box, but he's getting to work now, and they're starting to tag each other properly. Good, mixing up the body and the head there, Droy, that's better. It's a good bout, this, really good. These guys are ready for this fight, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely ready for this. I feel like Droy's getting tired of it. His guard's dropping, and I think he's going to the body because he's struggling. I think you're right. I think he's just breathing heavily, and the body language isn't good when he goes in and holds in like that and holds on for as long as he can but he put together a very, very good flurry of punches towards the middle of that round. And this fight is uh, coming alive now. really set up this fight now and that's a very very good left hook on the approach there from Droy. Droy is one of them fighters that surprises you a bit he looks tired and the body language doesn't look good at times I mean the work rate of Heathcote is impeccable but then all of a sudden Droy just comes out with some very very good shots again he's hanging on for dear life there Heathcote doesn't want to be hung on he's ruining his game he wants he wants to be standing there toe to toe exchanging find his way with the jab and puts the right hand over the top. He's pulled the screaming body shot to him. I can't see him finding the body of Droy. Droy is very, very low. He's a little bit of a confusing fighter, this Droy, sometimes, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely is. I mean, both of them are keeping their jaws really high. And I've, I'm, I've, if I was a corner, I'd be telling them both of the uppercuts. Well, there, just as you called it there, the uppercut came in. And uh, both guys are really laying it down to the end of the fight now. Big shot rocks the head back of Heathcote. But Heathcote's warrior brand, don't worry about that. And he will be there till the very, very last bell. It's now Heathcote hanging on. Hard one for the judges, this. It really is. There's been some quality shots. And I hope they're only scoring the quality shots in here. 
There's good into the body there from Ryan Droy as well. Tagging away Heathcote, left and right, tapping his punches through, and it'll be split by your referee, Dan Lovett. Horrible, horrible question to be asked this late in the fight, Irene, but I'm going to put it on you. Who, who have you got ahead in this fight? Oh, it's a very tough one. I'd like to say Droy has had the landed the cleaner shots, but the work rate of Heathcote, it's a tough one. I feel like I give it to Droy. I'll tell you what, and if anyone thinks that women know nothing about boxing, I will stand by that. I think the better quality shots were from Ryan Droy in that fight, but Jack Heathcote put together a very good fight and scored a lot as well. Congratulations. 